Well, hello everybody, this is Fracture, and welcome back to Let's Play Death Bank. I've ported myself back to Pluck Mucket or whatever it's called, and I'm not quite sure what we're going to do next. I've got a couple of quests outstanding, but nothing obvious. So I'm probably just going to head up the path and see what what happens. One of the quests mentions the haunted forest, and I got to like level 20 something, and I never saw this haunted forest. There is a what would you call it? Enchanted forest, but that's not haunted. So I don't know. Kind of stump there. Usually just walking around fighting your way without actually knowing where you're going isn't a great idea in this game. Really the only reason is that you can fight through much higher levels than you need to and you won't get any quests unless they've told you to search them out. So you're really kind of wasting your time aside from leveling up a bit. I guess. So, but despite my better judgment, I'm going to head up here and see what I can find. I can walk towards the... what is it called? There's some housing development that I need to get to. Maybe I'll head that way. Well, let's see what's up here. You know, because fancy housing developments are always past the dump. Oh yeah, no, you can't go much further here. This is just the castle, but there's a couple of things to search. I think this is a dead end. Maybe not. Yeah, there's stuff up there, the ogres, the pip village. So we'll head down. Uh, let me just make sure this isn't a path through. No, it doesn't appear to be. And I'm pretty sure I hit the very edge of the dump. Yeah, this is a, a dead end along here. So we'll loop back around and find that path. Sorry about the wandering around, I just don't remember this area. That would be the Orphanarium. So we'll head down here and hope for the best. Through the eyeball forest. I suppose this could be the haunted area that he was talking about. I mean, if floating eyeballs aren't haunted, what the heck are, eh? I think I finished up this. I found the old man's assistant. Yeah, he had started us, so I've taken care of that area. I think I am out of keys, and I think incorrectly. <laughs> keys seem totally random to me. I'm sure they're not. I'm sure I'm receiving them and just completely missing that, but... Sometimes I have way more keys than I seem to... would suggest that I should have, and sometimes I have none, and... Ugh, I don't know. Does anybody play this and know what the heck manages the keys? I haven't even been able to find them in my inventory. Oh, I died. What a shock. Well, I'm, I'm sure it's always a shock. No, oh, all the way back here, too. Oh, well. So where the heck was that path I was following? This one? Oh, eat myself some french fries. Ooh, those are... Wow, they must be McDonald's deep fat lard bacon wrapped fries. They certainly healed me up well. And yeah, for me to die there, just so you know how pathetic that is, not only is that giant beating heart on the screen, but my Xbox controller is vibrating like crazy to tell me that I'm about to die. And I still managed to die with an inventory full of food. And so, so I'm 
pity me for being so pathetic. So, where are we? There is a sign. Castle von Prawn. I think this is a dead end. Do I want to go into the castle? Probably not. I don't have a key to open this gate. So we won't be going that way. Can I go in here? I think maybe that, well... Let's see. Yep, oh, that's not the read the sign button. Demonic. See, I'm getting ahead of myself, I'm sure of it. Although a shoe is. <laughs> Major minor demon. Stamping Warhammer, that's better than what I'm using. Let's let's equip that. I don't like the stamping warhammers particularly, but so, uh, I don't even think that's what I equipped. Hang on. Super stamping warhammer, yeah. I thought the stamping warhammers always had a boot on the end. Okay, well. Let's clean up some of my inventory while I'm in here. I know how much you guys like to watch that. It's so entertaining. Whee! Don't need that anymore. If I did, I would get another one. I guess I've outlived the usefulness of these things. Again, I'm so disappointed that their sets don't have bonuses. Because really, what's the point of even having a set if you don't give the guy a bonus? Now, I had something to do with if I had a cleaver and a fire weapon. I have a cleaver and a fire weapon. Let, well, let's see, that's a pretty pathetic fire weapon. Let's wait till later. 475 physical. What's this one? 450. Okay, good enough. I'll switch. That's good enough for now. Throw a bomb at me or something? Uh-oh. Well, I did better there than I thought I would. See, I'm finding lots of shoes. I found a couple outside, too. A bunch of left shoes, always. Not knowing what they're for. But like the cans. Go ahead and uh, pick him up anyway. Ah, I think that's my weapon that is exploding, which is nice. You know, I think I'm kind of in the right area based on the level of these guys, but I can't help but think I am wasting my time a bit fighting these. my way all the way here and find sort of a dead end because I'm not supposed to be on this quest yet. Well, if nothing else, maybe I'll find some orphans. That's always good. You know, why would there be all these shoes without orphans? I was thinking the orphans were difficult to find and scattered all over the place. Maybe not. Oh, I blew that. What I did there was, I've never seen that happen before, but I'd started up my little spinning trick, and right as I started it, I blocked, and doing that turned it off. Oh, I did it again. Oh, well. Probably for the best. 
You may not have noticed, but the power-ups that your weapons have, like that spinning or some explosive, they can be interrupted just like any other attack, so you're actually really vulnerable with that spinning attack, because it takes four or five seconds. It does a lot of damage, so it's great attack, but you can't block while it's happening. So if you're fighting one of these orange guys, you're basically giving them the perfect opportunity to smack you in the face. That's pretty much toast for you. And a blocked bridge. I was worried about this. Ooh. It's like it's gonna let me walk over there. <laughs> I don't know if I... Uh, presumably if I do that, I drop in the, the lava. It looks like I should have... Oh, I see. Le levers. Blue lever. I walked all this way. Blue lever? What do you figure? It's for the blue bridge, right? Wow. Sherlock Holmes, you got nothing on me. So I get to work all the way past. Again, I forgot I had a map. I mean, if I would have done this right at the beginning, you know, I would have figured out maybe the lever first. So I think this video is probably going to end with me yanking on my lever. Because I don't think I'm going to be able to get all the way down here and then all the way back to the bridge. And I bet this is a hint too, right? Oh, well, orphan storage. So I might be right. Maybe the orphans are here. Oh yeah, look, you can even see. Let's hope it's not on a timer. Laura Croft trying to rush through a bunch of blocks to reach a door before it closes. Apple Pie Dame will know what I'm talking about there. I hope it's not timed, because if it is, it's just going to close right when I get there. I know it. But, well, they haven't frustrated me so far, so they probably wouldn't do something like... Surprise! You should have picked those speed-up cards when you had the chance, dumbass. Well, look at that. How's that for perfect timing? So, as always, I thank you for watching. I thank you for listening. And I encourage you to leave comments, suggestions, or infantile abuse. I promise I read it all. And if you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel or give me the thumbs up. Cheers, guys.